This is how most NBA players spend their first check. And Tyler Hero used his first check on a six-figure shopping spree, copping a custom 25-carat diamond chain for 55000 spending $100,000 in designer clothes, and most importantly, buying himself his dream car, a brand new 2020 Mercedes S63 AMG. And this thing wasn't cheap, because it cost Tyler over $200,000. Yeah, our boy balled out. But sometimes, spending your first check can go horribly wrong. Because for Gilbert Arenas, his first check made him go homeless. In 2001, 19-year-old Gilbert was convinced he'd go top 10 in the NBA draft. And in his mind, he was going to sign a rookie deal worth at least $3.3 So a few months before the draft, Gilbert took out a $400,000 loan and balled out. Like, you think you're thinking you're gonna go top 10? Like, shit, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking millions, you know? So I bought an Escalade, had five TVs in it, four 12s, had the suede. I seen Gary Payton with suede on the top. I want the suede roof, you know? So I spent all of that money. Yeah, Gilbert really thought he made it. But at pre-draft tryouts, he ruined everything. Not only did he refuse to take part in mandatory workouts, but he also made sure to tell every NBA team that his lifelong dream was to be an international pimp. <sighs> yes, he really said that. And of course, NBA scouts were not amused. So instead of going top 10, his ass fell all the way to the second round, signing for 330,000 his first year. That's 70,000 less than what he owed. This man was broke broke. I couldn't even drive back and forth to the arena. Yeah. So I had to stay at the arena sometimes. You slept in the I arena. I slept in the arena. A professional NBA player. I slept in the so arena. sleep was basically homeless. Basically, take yeah. me back to the park yeah. days again. Yeah. I'm basically homeless. <laughs> That's right. But, but I just couldn't afford the gas. When they did my budget, I can only spend $500 a month. <laughs> For you know, that's gas money, <laughs> gas money, girlfriend, two dogs. Like I, I don't, I don't right. have any money. Damn, Gilbert really fumbled the bag, but not as bad as Lamelo Ball, because the way Melo spent his first check is getting him sued for millions. Yeah. In 2019, right after graduating high school, LaMelo hired publicist Amber Johnson to find him some big money brand deals, promising her 10% of the profits. And over the next few weeks, she went to work, pitching a LaMelo documentary to Fox, landing him a sponsorship on Caffeine TV, and most importantly, negotiating LaMelo's biggest offer yet, a deal with Puma worth $10 million. But oddly enough, when LaMelo heard about the offer, he told his publicist to decline and end negotiations immediately. So, Amber canceled the deal and never spoke to Puma again. But in 2020, something suspicious happened. A month before the NBA draft, it was announced that Melo had signed his first big contract, a $100 million endorsement deal with none other than Puma. And after securing the bag, Lamelo spent big, copping a $276,000 Ferrari F8 Tributo, a million dollar Richard Mill, and a $2.6 million condo in the heart of Charlotte. Melo was dropping money on everything. Well, everything except his publicist, who claims she didn't receive a dime from Lamelo. Not for the caffeine deal, not for the documentary, and not for the Puma deal. So in January of 2022, she decided to sue Lamelo for $10 million. And our boy Melo is still battling it out in court to this day. But look, not every NBA player blows their first bag on themselves. Cause Zion Williamson spent his first check saving thousands of families from disaster. See, in March of 2020, during Zion's rookie season, COVID forced the NBA to shut down entirely, leaving tens of thousands of arena workers without jobs. Overnight, people living paycheck to paycheck had their income ripped away, and with no other jobs available, they were left feeling hopeless. The saying, life can change in an instant, is as true as it gets. So, with people desperate for help, rookie Zion pulled through and changed lives, saying, a mother has always set an example for me about being respectful to others. So today, I'm pledging to cover the salaries for all Smoothie King Center workers for the next 30 days. Yeah, that means Zion donated at least $300,000, all from his first check. Damn, that man Zion knows how to spend his money. 
he needs to teach other NBA players how it's done, because the stories we got coming up are on another level. But before we get to that, we gotta talk about Kelly Oubre. Cause this dude is being blackmailed for millions all because of his first check. See, in 2015, right after signing his rookie contract, Kelly went out and dropped $12,000 on two new puppies, Saint and Soul. And over the next few years, he built an unbreakable bond with his dogs, even taking them on the road for away games. But in 2019, something terrible happened. After an ugly breakup, Kelly's ex-girlfriend went psycho, refusing to leave his house, slashing his tires, and worst of all, kidnapping his dogs. This woman was out of her mind, but to be honest, for a pretty good reason. It turns out his ex went completely psycho because Kelly never dropped a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. I got this crazy chick on speed dial. And if you ain't subbed, then she's going to steal your pets and eat them. Trust me, dog. You don't want that to happen. So just go ahead and subscribe, okay? But anyways, Kelly was heartbroken. So he called the cops and even filed a lawsuit, desperately trying to get his dogs back. But somehow, she was able to keep custody of Saint and Soul, and it seemed like Kelly's situation couldn't get any worse. Until January of 2021, when Kelly's ex allegedly threatened to keep Saint and Soul unless he paid her $3 million. So Kelly filed another lawsuit claiming he was being blackmailed, and he's still fighting for his dogs back to this day. Man, I just feel bad for Kelly. But who I don't feel bad for is LeBron. Because this dude turned his first check into millions of, wait, no, billions of dollars. Back in 2003, just a month before the NBA draft, 18-year-old LeBron signed his first big contract, a deal with Nike worth $90 million. And with that kind of money, you'd think a teenager would have just blown it all. But instead, LeBron decided to hire his best friend, Maverick Carter, as a business partner for 50 k a year. This was genius. Because Maverick went on to close all kinds of big money deals for LeBron, turning a 1% stake in Beats into 30 million, creating LeBron's Spring Hill Company, an entertainment brand worth 725 mil. And in 2015, Maverick negotiated the biggest contract in NBA history, a lifetime deal with Nike worth a ridiculous $1 billion. God damn, this man LeBron hired a financial wizard. So inspirational. But not everyone's as fortunate as LeBron, cause what Trey Young bought with his first check got his ass clowned in front of his entire team. See, in 2018, just a month after being drafted, Trey used 166,000 of his first check to cop his dream car, a brand new 2019 Audi R8. It's here. And this thing is crazy. 600 horsepower, custom matte black paint, zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. If Trey wasn't on the court, he was whipping the Audi. Until a few weeks later, when during team practice, his teammates secretly stole his car and trashed it. <laughs> I guess the rookies got popcorn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, that's crazy. That's high level popcorn. Trey. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> Trey might be smiling, but I know his ass is crying on the inside. And according to this fan, his R8 still smells like popcorn. Damn. But at least Trey had a car. Cause how Giannis spent his first check literally put him on the streets. Yeah. In 2013, when Giannis signed his rookie deal, he wanted to give back to his family. So right before a game in Milwaukee, he took a taxi cab to a local bank, and that's where he wired all of his money back home to Greece. Every last dollar. And you know, that's nice and all, but there was one problem. This man has no car, no money for a cab, and he has a game in 30 minutes. So, a boy started hauling ass. This six foot nine famous NBA player was sprinting down the streets of Milwaukee to try and make it to his own game. But it turns out he didn't have to run very far because after just a mile, Giannis caught the attention of one generous Bucks fan.
First cold day of the season. We're out shopping and I see, a, like two blocks away, I see a very tall person running. And I think, looks like might be Giannis. He is running and he's wearing jeans and a windbreaker and it is 18 degrees out. And I say, can we offer him a ride? He says, sure. He climbs into the backseat of our car and we have a really little car. We have a Honda Fit, right? Yeah. So he's, and he's sitting in the back seat, all like, folded sideways knees to chin i mean it's the only way he could have fit in yeah Giannis's pretzel looking ass didn't have a dollar to his name and neither did shaq because this man spent his entire first check one million dollars in just 30 minutes how is that even possible well, in 1992, before even making it to the NBA, Shaq signed a trading card deal with Classic for a million dollars. And the very next day, he went on the craziest shopping spree of his life. I always tell people this story. I spent a million dollars in 30 minutes. I always wanted a black on black Mercedes Benz. So I go get it, boom, 150,000. My father said, that's nice, where's mine at? I was like, you know what, you're right. Go get the exact same car for him. We get home, my mom's a little jealous. Where's mine at? You know what? So we go and we get her the smaller Benz version. So we got three Benzes and, and then after that, after I drop them off, I was like, I need some jewelry. So I, I buy a big old diamond ring similar to this one. I get another ring for the other hand. I get a bracelet. I get some diamond earrings. I get a necklace. And I get a call the next day from the uh, bank manager and he says, I uh, need to have a conversation with you. So I come up there and shows me the spreadsheet of where all the money went. I forgot about the agent fees. I, I forgot about FICA. I forgot about state tax and sales tax. So I probably netted like 700,000, but I didn't know that. I thought I had $1 million. Yeah, this dude forgot about taxes. Man, Shaq's gotta regret that one. But I can't say the same for John Morant because he spent his first check on his parents and it changed their lives forever. See, in the early 2000s, when John was just a kid, his parents knew he was special, so much so that not only did his mom give up her biology career, but his dad walked away from pro basketball just to train him, thinking that one day, Jock could become one of the greatest players in NBA history. And as Jock got older, his parents pushed him every single day, from backyard NBA drills to having him play kids twice his age. Hell, they even put a basketball hoop in the living room all to help him make it to the NBA. By 2019, Ja had officially achieved his dreams, being the second overall pick in the NBA draft, owing it all to his parents. And Ja, you always said that your dad gave up his basketball dreams to help you accomplish yours. So tell your dad what this means. It means a lot for both of us. We both know what I've been through. I don't want to get a little emotional up here, man, but I just want to thank him for everything he done for me. Um, he made me who I am today, and I'm just thankful for it all. Great job, well, great job. And after signing a $39 million rookie deal, Ja figured what better way to blow his first check than by showing his parents some love. Not only copping them both brand new whips, a Hellcat for his dad and an Audi for his mom, but also buying them their dream home, a 9,000 square foot mansion in Tennessee worth $2.1 million. This place has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, it's got a backyard pool, a home theater, hell, it's even got a tennis court. All of this just to show his parents how much he appreciates them. <laughs> Damn, man, it's beautiful. <laughs> but what's not beautiful is Shaq's diet. Yeah, this man ate so bad, it almost killed him. And don't even get me started on Zion. His ass is getting so fat, he's gonna eat himself out of the league. Oh, you want to hear more about that? Then click this video right here. This is what NBA players actually eat. Trust me, dog. You don't want to miss this. So what are you doing? Click it.